Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Maher opened his mouth again while being interviewed on Larry King Alive. Here's the exchange. Larry King says, we have a blog question for Bill Maher. Do you think it's socialism for the government to take over health care to make sure every American can afford it? Do you think that's socialism? Socialism. And Bill replies, of course it's not socialism. Oh, God. Americans have no clue what socialism is. They just know it's something super terrible. No. Well, first of all, you know, we have socialism already in this country, as does every modern democracy. Keep that word in mind. Then Larry King retorts, Social Security is socialism, and Bill says, Yes, of course it is, and so is the Marine Corps, or as Obama would say, corpse, the Marine Corps. You know, so is the mail. Every modern industrialized Western democracy is a hybrid with elements of socialism in it. It's, it's not evil. You know, again, the Democrats have done a rotten job of selling health care. I agree with that. There's a lot of good stuff in that health care. But to, to <laughs> have it be characterized as socialist, to let people characterize it as socialism, was a big mistake from the beginning. And then Larry King retorts again, Do you think we're, they're going to get a weak bill in if they get a bill in at all? And old Bill replies, You know, the Senate bill that already passed is not that bad. Yes, it's not what a lot of people would like, would have liked. But it does cover 30 million more people. You can't get thrown off for a pre-existing condition. It, it, it saves money. It does reduce costs. Medicare is solvent until 2026. That's not a bad start. You know, you can't solve legislation usually in one fell swoop. There's usually a good start. Then you go back and get some more. Why Obama just doesn't, you know, make... Tell the House to, you know, adopt the Senate bill, take it into reconciliation, and push this through. Instead of having this televised supposed love fest with the Republicans, Larry, they're just not into you. I keep telling them they are just not that into you. And you're right, Bill, we're not. We aren't that into you, Bill, or your schmucks in the Democrat Party. Bill makes a plethora of errors here. We do not live in a democracy, Bill. We live in a republic, if we can keep it. You might want to talk to Ben Franklin about that. Secondly, both the House and, in particular, the Senate health scare bill requires me to purchase health insurance and anyone else. This is unconstitutional. The federal government has the authority to regulate commerce, but it cannot compel me to buy a certain product. It can't compel me to buy health care, tomatoes, tofu, or burgers, or anything else. Bill's characterization of the Marine Corps, or as Obama would say, the Marine Corps, as socialist is quite a head-scratcher. The preamble to the U.S. Constitution says, We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense. I'm not saying, don't misunderstand me here, that this gives us a green light to spend whatever we want on defense, but the Marine Corps, or as Obama would say, the Marine Corps, certainly would fall under one of the duties of the federal government. It's not socialism to quote uh, James Carville, amend one of his quotes, it's the Constitution, stupid. Larry and Bill both agree that so Social Security is socialism, yet I fail to see where the Constitution compels me to pay into a Ponzi scheme like Social Security. I'm not paying into it for myself, I'm paying for Grandpa's retirement, and when one factors inflation in, I'm getting robbed. Not to mention Social Security is a few trillion in the hole. Bill then defends the United States Postal Service. <laughs> and fails to note that most of Europe has privatized its mail delivery system. And as I covered in one of my responses to Kaka video, titled Coast Served, Tancredo Got Served, you can find it in my playlist, uh, Refutations of McCain is Through and Kaka video, the USPS is very inefficient and was more than $3 billion in the whole last fiscal year. If you're going to use... Uh, that's not a good example to use, Bill. Sorry. Bill then says Medicare is solvent until 2026. Bill's not being totally truthful. To be fair, it's probably because he doesn't know and is just reciting talking points fed to him by some schmuck. This from July 2008. In 2003, Congress tried to create a mechanism that would force the federal government to take an honest look at controlling the exploding cost of Medicare. The Medicare Modernization Act included a provision that required the President and Congress to act whenever two consecutive Medicare trustee reports projected that more than 45% of Medicare's total costs would have to come from general revenues within seven years. 
This year's Medicare trustee report pulled that trigger. After much deliberation, the White House submitted a proposal that responded to the tri trigger pursuant to the MMA. But now Congress is refusing to even debate the issue, and they are trying to change the rules so they don't have to. This also from 2008. The trustees issuing their once-a-year analysis said the resources in the Social, Social Security Fund will be depleted by 2041. The reserves in the Medicare Trust Fund that pay hospital benefits were projected to be wiped out by... 2019. Both these dates were <laughs> the same as in last year's report. So what are you reading, Bill? Hmm? But the trustees warned that financial pressures will begin much sooner when the programs begin paying out more in benefits each year than they collect in payroll taxes. For Medicare, that threshold is projected to be reached this year, that was 2008, and for Social Security is projected to occur in 2017. It's not like Congress discovered 10 years ago, oh, we got baby boomers to pay for. No, they've known about this for a long time. Medicare is now projected to be insolvent in 2017, of course. If I may quote Bill Clinton, it depends on what your definition of insolvent is. There you have it, folks. Bill Maher and his bully pulpit pulling talking points from somebody's butt. I wonder what would happen if Bill was forced to rail about international free trade with, say, Thomas Sowell, Walter E. Williams, or John Stossel present. Would he be as cavalier with his talking points? I highly doubt it. But he's safe on Larry King's show, where he can sit up there and know that nobody's going to respond to him. That's why I don't take Bill Maher seriously. He's an intelligent man, but he's an idiot. If you know what I mean. He, he, he probably has a very high IQ, but he's an ideologue, and... He, he, he plays to people's ignorance, and people hear him, oh, Medicare's doing great. No, Bill, I hate to say it, but it's not, buddy. Uh, and we don't live in a democracy. We live in a republic. Uh, the Marine Corps defense spending is part of, you know, the preamble of the Constitution. So how many people swallowed that and said, oh, Bill, you're so, you're so intelligent, Bill. You are, you are the man, Bill. Uh, how many people swallowed that and believed it? Uh, and how many people rightly said, oh, Bill, you're full of crap? Don't thank me now. Have a nice day. Oh, don't forget to tip your waitress. <laughs>